Hey, Christy, it's a girl's day. It's always a girl's day when I'm here. It's a girl's day. Today is going to be a really good girl's day because I flew in here by the seat of my pants on two wheels coming in after a very busy full morning. And so we're going to talk about women are made differently. Men kind of go by the flow and they just kind of you know, and women are like this. We are list people. We get it done. And as we were talking, you have already had pretty a much a full business day <laughs> before this day even started. Mm -hmm. So, mm -hmm. uh, yeah, that's what we do. We try to plan. We try to get everything on our agenda done and do it as efficiently as we can do. And Was God joking when he made women to, well, to be the ones that, but we do find ourselves sometimes slamming ourselves with more than we should? Do you, ever, do. do you ever hit that level and you're like, wow, what am I doing? Yes, there are times when my brain, I know when I start making lists, and I do lists all the time anyway, mm -hmm. but when I get really detailed with my lists, I know my brain is full because there's almost only so much a brain can take. Mm -hmm. There's only mm -hmm. so much you can do and process and think about it <coughs> and clearly remember everything. Right. Well, you can reach this wall where you just can't truly remember things on your own, or at least that's how I get, and then I have to go to my list. So mm -hmm. in my phone, which I left in my car, and I feel like a little <laughs> naked right now, but in my phone, it's just my appointment here and what time I need to leave to be here just to remind myself of how long it takes me to get here and my appointment this afternoon, and then I have a venue that I'm visiting this afternoon for an event that I'm working on. So I just have to remind myself of that because uh -huh. when I move on to tomorrow, or even this afternoon, I'll forget what I did today. Uh -huh. So it just is a reminder, almost like a diary of what I've done, yeah. and it helps keep me on track. And there are people that don't need that at all, uh -huh. and God bless you if God you don't. God bless you. God bless you. I've got three closings I'm working on. So that's what this morning it was like, a little bit for this closing, a little bit for this closing, mm -hmm. a little bit for this closing. You put it all together, and you're like, right. whose house is what, and where's going where? Right, right. But but that's what we have to do. And, and so... One of the things that I'm guilty of is taking on things that I really shouldn't take on. And I do that. I, I'm guilty of that. And in a couple of these things, I'm doing above and beyond, across the mile, way to, you know. I would well, say this is your job, this is your responsibility, but I'm a, I take on stuff. Do you do that? Well, I do to a, to a point, but I have learned in my 20 plus years in business that if you can't do it and do it well mm -hmm. at some point you have to say no because then something that you're doing I'd love to but I can't that's the best line ever yes I'd love to but I can't you just so have when to when somebody asks you you just you're so sweet and you say oh I'd love to but I can't <laughs> you if, if, if I think that and I know myself I know what I can do I know what I can do within the time frames I have I know myself and if I know that I just can't do it well or do it to the best of my ability, then I just have to say no. Mm -hmm. And also sometimes there are people that uh, just want to push out as much as they can to keep themselves from having to do it. Mm -hmm. And you sort of have to evaluate those situations and see like, is this something that I can do, mm -hmm. should be doing, mm -hmm. or mm, maybe, maybe I should take a step back because mm -hmm. my reputation is paramount to me. Mm -hmm. That is so important to me. And I don't want to do things that I know that I'm not going to do well. And I know right. I keep saying that, but that's the truth come to back me. And say, oh, you know, I want anything that has my name on, on it. Top of your game. Don't care what it is. I want it to be the best that it can be. Mm -hmm. It can be something super simple about how I write something, or mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. something more grand about doing an event because I'm an event planner by nature. Mm -hmm. Whatever I put my name on, I want it to be the best. Mm -hmm. And if I feel like I'm taking on too much and it's not the best, then I have to step back because my reputation is important to me. Right, right. So, Well, we know another lady like you, um, Brie Tankersley is one of those ladies. <laughs> oh, I love Brie, yes. And I'm going to give everybody some good news because Brie has just been given her own morning talk show in Chattanooga. Exciting. And she's very excited about it and I'm going to go and visit with her and we're going to hang out a little bit. And, um, you know, 
starting here at ETC gives you the groundwork for what what can you accomplish, what can you do, learning all the ropes here because there are many things that go on to make this happen. It's not just me running in here at 90 miles an hour sitting in my seat. Right. It's somebody behind the scenes, it's somebody planning, it's somebody doing. It's like I did the change up on the set because I just felt like I was in an attorney's office. I love the other set and it's very professional looking. But it reminded me of being in a lawyer's office every day. And I, and I laughed about that because I've been to a lot of real estate closings lately and everybody's office kind of looks the same. It's that formal, wild, uh, and I said, no, nah, I want something a little lighter, a little, you know. Mm -hmm. So I, in five minutes, literally, grabbed Caleb and Tyler and we literally <laughs> created what I feel better in mm -hmm. for us because I did the chair, and I, I know you haven't heard about this, but I did the empty chair in honor of somebody everybody has lost. My mother actually watches you every day. She's watching right now. My Aunt Janice, they're home watching right now, and she told me about this chair. Yes. So Everybody lost somebody. Right. And so at your dinner table, at your Thanksgiving table, at your Christmas Eve event, mm -hmm. somebody is missing. And so I thought starting out 2017, let's honor all of those people right. who aren't here to celebrate with us, but we can continue to celebrate their life with amazing memories. Now, I don't know if y'all have looked on my Facebook, but I had tons of flowers for my birthday. And it's because we owned a florist for 25 years and right. my daughter overdid flowers for me every single year. And everybody feels like they need to keep up with or bypass what Angela did for me. She was an extraordinary florist. She was. I got home last night and there was this arrangement that is too big for my house. I mean, it's literally too big for my house but a friend who worked for Angela at the florist made this for me. She didn't know where I lived, and, and you know, I used to have this massive huge dining room with this big wet window it would have been perfect in. But I found just the perfect little spot in my smaller home. And it was so precious to see Angela's work coming back to life through somebody mm -hmm. that she taught. Mm -hmm. And I, I laughed about it because she called and she said, I have a delivery for you. And I said, okay. And I thought, well, it'll be a little bud vase or, you know, and I get home and there's this massive, huge arrangement and I had to find a place to put it. But it made me smile. It's hot pinks. And I'm a hot pink girl. Mm -hmm. I like pink, teal, purple. Mm -hmm. Pink, teal, purple. They can do away with all other colors. Black, <laughs> black, pink, teal, and purple. Right. And the rest of the world can just forget it. <laughs> so, I, you know, once again, it was just something to remember somebody who's gone made me smile because I thought she worked a lot of hours with Angela. Mm -hmm. Angela taught her how to make bows. She taught her how to do things. And and I said it's so cool to see that work coming back. So, yeah, there's, a, there's somebody missing in everybody's family. And I was just thinking about Angela and around Christmas time. I know it's mm -hmm. tough to talk about, but she... I don't know how many Christmas trees that she put up. I was going to say a million. 48. <laughs> uh, and they were all so beautiful. And I just remember that we could have the same, like Angela could have a table here and I could have a table here. She could have the same items and I could have the same items. I could put up my tree and go, hmm, that's not so great. <laughs> she could put up her tree and it's a showcase. Miraculous. She yeah. was just so talented. Yeah, yeah. Just so and, talented. And, there, and the talent stops with her and our family. Victoria is very creative mm -hmm. and you know she has her own show in uh, Jackson Tennessee she's very very creative and she wants to make her mark in journalism that's sure. that's great for her but she doesn't have her mother's artistic ability I don't have my, her mother's artistic ability but we laugh and we say we try you know we right. try we do try that's that's the point of we it try. is trying yeah, it's like we try. cooking or baking or whatever we may not be the best at it but as long as we try. give it a try yeah, and yeah and I know I think I either heard you on your show or Facebook or maybe we were talking I'm not sure but you were talking about kind of cooking up a storm when you were home during the snow days oh my gosh there were so many leftovers but for me I was a total opposite I had bought I'd gone to the store I'd bought so many food items all kinds of things to cook I didn't want to cook anything are you I kidding me no I had there's this Mrs. Polly's pimento cheese that I love so much <laughs> and I funny. ate that like every day I had no interest there are days when I just want to cook everything oh my gosh. and days when I don't want to cook anything yeah, yeah. and so I should have 
had some of your food <laughs> yeah. during those winter days yeah, because yeah. you were cooking up a storm. I just, I, it's kind of like I feel worthless if I'm not accomplishing something that makes people smile. And yeah. and because living in ball ground, we had almost four inches of snow, but mm -hmm. everybody could get around after the second day. So yes. it wasn't a big deal. And I would say, come over and eat. I've made so-and-so. Come and eat. I've made so-and-so. It's kind of my way of giving back, I guess, sure. because I can't make you a beautiful flower arrangement. But I can bake you. I can make you a great cherry cobbler. I make really good cherry cobblers. It's whatever, whatever your gift is. I don't. I'm not sure it what I could what give you. It is what it is. Well, I'll tell you something. You've given me. Um, I laugh about girly stuff. But but this, I have a new pink journal. I was doing an old black journal, and my friend Jenny gave me a pink journal. And then I have the little pink note things, and I, and I said you can give me. You're a girly girl. Mm -hmm. You like to make women feel good, and you like to make women dress up, and you like to, you know, you like to make women be all that they can be and feel all that they can be. And I think that's important. You know, I think whoever you're talking to and dealing with, I think if you can make them feel good about themselves, mm -hmm. and you kind of specialize in that. My uh, my mom, I'll mention her again. She She'll be okay that I mention this, but when I was little, she would always dress me in fancy dresses. <laughs> and so, I don't know, I guess I just always loved that, and, and maybe I could have gone the opposite way and hated a fancy dress because yeah. I was in fancy dresses, but I look back at lots of my pictures when I was little, and I have on fancy dresses, you know, patent leather shoes mm -hmm. and jewelry and my hair done and all of that, and I just have always loved that, and I was always drawn to pageants. Some people don't like pageants, but I feel like I'm who I am today because of like my experience in the Miss America system with mm -hmm. interviewing and talking to people and getting outside your comfort zone and learning new things and performing in front of people and mm -hmm. dance and all those things that I love. That brought me out of my shell, and that's something that my mom taught me early on, mm -hmm. but other people don't like that. They don't appreciate it, but for me, it's kind of the essence of who I am, and mm -hmm. I look back with incredibly fond memories and mm -hmm. talk about it all the time, especially when I meet people who uh, are from the Columbus, Georgia area, because that's where the Miss, Pad Miss Georgia pageant takes place. Yeah. But I do like girly things, but uh, I recall a day when I was on a four-wheeler driving yes. through a farm with yes. somebody, yes. Uh, and, and I'm, I'm okay with that, too. I, yeah. I like all yeah. kinds of things. I like yeah. getting out in the mountains. and. I have had knee injuries and so I'm not like a super hiker and mentally I can't ever get to a place where I could hike for 25 miles and be uh -huh, great with it. Uh -huh, I'm not like that. Uh -huh. But Plus I do like to get outside. Injuring that knee would be horrible. Well, See, that's scary to me because after yeah. the shoulder deal, I'm so cautious. Everything I do and everywhere right. I go, I'm so cautious. I've, so. Ha I have been scheduled to have surgery on my knee twice in probably the past 10 years and uh -huh. I've canceled both times uh -huh. because it took me back to a really bad place it was like a year uh -huh. of rehabilitation yeah and I don't want to do that and I just say I've said that deal with it, it. I'm gonna deal with it unless I have an injury that causes me to have to have the surgery uh -huh. I'm just gonna deal with it and try yeah. to be healthy yeah but I have some friends and I we were talking off air about kind of New Year's resolutions and uh -huh. things we want to do want to get in better shape we want to <laughs> walk and they started walking yesterday and I wasn't able to go walk because of uh, a meeting that I had to attend, but I want to walk, get in better shape, mm -hmm. feel better physically. I've had some health issues in the last few years, and I think if I get out and walk and do a little bit, mm -hmm. then I'll feel a whole lot better. Mm -hmm. So as long as we're just kind of chipping away and doing yeah, a little bit yeah, each day, I think yeah. that's good progress. Well, I love, I made a commitment today, Leah and I are going to try the wellness bowl that Hans is doing. We oh, talked yes, about this a little yes. bit yesterday, mm -hmm. but we're going to do that. If It's so big that if you buy it for lunch, it's enough for two meals. Mm -hmm. And um, we're determined to, I, I eat well because I like stuff like broccoli and cauliflower and I love spinach. I love those kind of things. Yes. And I don't do grease very well. That doesn't like my system at all. So I eat well, but um, it's interesting because I think about the things I've never tried because when he was talking about this wellness bowl and he was naming all the things in it and I said, what in the dickens is that? Hans is a wild gonna, and crazy guy. I'm he is. I'm going to venture out he more is, yes. with healthy things mm -hmm. that I've never heard of. He embraces and don't Everything. remember the names of. Yes. But there are some things in this bowl that I will not identify with, but I'm going to eat it. That is my mission to be on right now, to add new healthy things to the diet that will encourage me. Well, yesterday with my two friends that we were talking about walking, we what we had for lunch, we had uh, some roasted broccoli, cauliflower, some 
sweet peas mm -hmm. and kale. Mm -hmm. So we had some roasted food and a kale salad on the side and it was great and it fueled us for the mm -hmm. day. Mm -hmm. So I think we could all probably do better and I'm mentioning, you know, like <laughs> during the snow I ate pimento cheese for four days. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it's moderation, but it's just doing better and yeah. I, I enjoyed all the food I had yesterday. My problem is if I'm around Coke, soda, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I will drink it. If I don't have it, I don't mm -hmm. crave it. Mm -hmm. But if I'm around it, mm -hmm. I will drink it and I'll have two or three in a day and mm -hmm. that's not good. Mm -hmm. But mm -hmm. I can go for periods of time for months and I don't have a soda. I just don't crave it. You know what I do? And then I do. Over the holidays, I hadn't had real Coke in years and years and years and years. Yeah. And I took a sip of real Coke and I thought, nah, don't want that. But it was interesting to me because I can remember it started with a Barbara Mandrell song, Coke and Peanuts. You know how she put the peanuts in her Coke? Yeah. And I loved that. I can't. I I can't that. do that. Oh my gosh, I, I can't do it. that. But I took a sip of real Coke and I said, no. Now, no, I love caffeine free no. Coke, and some people will taste oh, that and think that. it's terrible. Oh, I can't do oh, that. Oh, I love it no. better than a regular Coke. Oh, that's funny. That's a, if you're going to fuel me up, you're going to give me the real deal. So, okay, now, yeah. do you do uh, do you do you cornbread and buttermilk? Yes, love I, that. With black I pepper. Oh, yes, I can't of do that. Of I just, I can't do that. <laughs> That I just, oh, I can't do I that. Love it. I love it. Well, I have some birthdays, and we want to get to birthdays because today one of my dear, dear friends up in North Carolina, I love, 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 Cindy Watkins, happy birthday to you, to Celeste McGee, to Carla Ash, and to new mom, Macy Paget, who brought home the two cutest twin girls oh, to, wow. to be with her precious son. They... These kids are so blessed. They have the best mom and dad and just precious, precious family. So, Macy, happy, happy birthday to Scotty Pack, to Rusty Martin, to Melissa Senyard. And her husband, Bill, is going to be with me in a couple of days. He's going to come and visit the show, and I can't wait. To Beverly Pogue, to Robbie Newton, and to Christy Colley. Happy, happy birthday to each and every one of you. Now, we've got a lot of things we're going to talk about with you, but I'm going to take you back to Fannin County. Fannin County has had a lot of change since the crunch. Mm -hmm. And the crunch was, quite honestly, a failure for many businesses in Fannin County. It was tough for the real estate industry, tough horrible. for business, tough for families. That was terrible. A lot terrible. of men had to leave home and commute into Atlanta even mm -hmm. to find work. Right. So Fannin County lost some amazing businesses. One of my favorite, and I don't know if you'd ever eaten there before, the Blackberry Rigidery. Oh, yes, I did. Oh, my gosh, They had I the Blackberry it. butter. butter. Yes, yes that was did. good. Yes, they did. Yeah. And and we have a program that we're going to share a little bit of that with you. And we're going to, this is a great healthy recipe. And so I think you'll like this recipe. And it starts with yogurt. But we're going to do that, and we're also going to share some of the music off that event today. It's funny because Pam McRae, during that time, lost everything. Her health failed. She ended up in the hospital over and over and over. But when her health failed, she needed to be in the hospital getting care for herself, and she wasn't doing it because she was running a restaurant. The business came first. Well, the Lord had a different plan for her, and now she's healthy because she didn't have the pressure of that business that right. failed. So right. it all, you know, it all worked out. But we're going to share a little bit with that, of that with y'all, and then we're going to come back, and we've got lots of things to talk about that Christy's going to be involved in in the near future. So we'll be back shortly. Um, today we are in Fannin County, Georgia. Caleb, can I you brought this young man on board about mm, December 31st, January 1st? January 1st. January 1st, you started driving a motorhome for me. Kind of an accident. I got stuck in North Carolina at the world famous Possum Drop. You rescued me. Possum Drop. Possum Drop. What's today, a possum drop? do we think we're going to have a possum recipe today? No, no. I'm not going to eat it if we. No, we're <laughs> not doing possum today. But today we're going to talk about since March we have driven 11,000 miles. Actually, we haven't driven any. He's driven 11,000 miles. We've and been Scott doing Barker. Yes, yes, and Scott Barker <laughs> drove nine miles of that. We've been doing churches, we've been doing gospel singings, um, featuring all the groups we love, the Diplomats, the Barker Brothers, Angel Spirit, Joy Masters. We have been going to your communities and showing up. Y'all have been showing out with some great, great food. Now, this weekend is our first off weekend. Yay. Yay. We came off the set today from North Georgia now today. We are dressed appropriately in pink because your aunt battling breast cancer. My aunt or my cousin yesterday was diagnosed with lung cancer. We wore pink today in honor of all the people 
out there in this fight. Um, we know that stress is a major factor in cancer and we have decided to take this weekend to chill. We're going to be chilling and my favorite place to chill is Fannin County, Georgia. We're in the Blackberry Rajidri. What do you like here that Pam makes? The famous not on the menu meatloaf sandwich. That's right. You have to know somebody here to get it. All That's you have right. to do is say, send me Sherry's special. I have a meatloaf sandwich on rye, you have it on white. That's what we always do. With have. mayonnaise. With mayonnaise, and I have mustard and ketchup. You're a little bit country, I'm a little bit rock and roll. We seem to work together. You can drive anything and you show out a little bit. You know, you've backed that motorhome into places I couldn't put a pinto. And today, I described how I drove. I've driven the motorhome 26 miles, and I tense up. I get really tense. You just kind of chill and do your thing. But this is what the weekend is about, chilling time. So we're going to share with you some of the things we love about Fannin County. Pam is going to join us. She is the owner of the Blackberry Ridge Eatery. She is a dear, dear friend. Is she a hoot? Oh, she's hilarious. She is hilarious. Love so that Pam. anything goes with Pam, she will um, she will revitalize you. She will make you want to laugh. She is a great, great place of piano. She'll make you want to come back to the Blackberry. She'll Ridge make you want to come to the Blackberry Ridge Eatery. So when we t we're going to take a break now, we're going to come back, and Pam McRae is going to join us. She's got some recipes going on, and you know one of the things I snuck and saw a zero candy bar. What is she going to make with a zero candy bar? I can't wait to find out. I can't wait. So y'all stay tuned. We're going to take a little break. And when we come back, Pam McRae will join us. We are coming to you from beautiful, beautiful Fannin County, where we will share the best of what Fannin County has to offer. High-speed Wi-Fi. Not quite as important as running water in your home, but close. Ignite Internet from ETC powers your Wi-Fi network with consistent speeds to keep all your gadgets going strong. Streaming video players, laptops, tablets, even smartphones, so you're never stuck with those big cell data charges. And talk about value. Just pick your speed and keep the Wi-Fi flowing in your home at a great low price. Upgrade your Internet today. Call or visit etcnow.com to learn more. I'm Lauren Smith, the University of Georgia. Today we have John Davis, former Georgia Tech All-American, Frank Ross, captain of the Bulldogs' 1980 National Championship team in a Subway showdown. Subway. How many Subways does that Singleton own? He just up with number 17. He started in my hometown of LJ. Yeah, but he graduated from University of Georgia. Uh, hey guys, who's hungry? It looks like Subway and Singleton Food Services Incorporated, the winner again. Subway! Fountain Roofing has been providing excellent service for 35 years. Let Lonnie assist you in choosing the roof perfect for your home and your budget. Commercial or residential, he can handle it all. Fountain Roofing continues to provide quality workmanship and will provide references upon request. At Fountain Roofing, we've got you covered. Call Lonnie at 706-692-6997. That's 706-692-6997. In today's changing world, some things should never change. Time-honored, compassionate services are what families have come to know with Roper Funeral Home. Our professional and courteous staff offers traditional services, cremations, as well as advanced funeral planning, which relieves the burden from those we love. Hello, I'm Kevin Roper. If you have any questions about the services we provide, we invite you to give us a call, stop by, or better yet, ask a family who has used our services. We've had Alpha Insurance since our first daughter. And when we had quadruplets, <laughs> we really needed Alpha. Now we need our own insurance with great rates, fast claim service, and a local agent we know. And we want to company our kids and grandkids can trust. <laughs> call Alpha! For the best agents in the business, call Ed Stepp in Blue Ridge. Georgia Medical Treatment Center in Canton specializes in low-level pain management. We provide a holistic approach to treatment, managing knee, back, and joint pain along with migraines, allergies, and medical weight loss through holistic and alternative approaches rather than pharmaceutical treatments. By offering multiple specialties under one roof, including chiropractic care and neuropathy injection treatment, we create the continuity of care that assures positive patient outcomes. So take the first step to a life free of pain. Give us a call or go online today to georgiamtc.com. Hello everybody, my name is Roberto Pereira. I'm a cardiologist practicing at Piedmont Mountain Side at Jasper, Georgia. 
I'd like to invite you to join me as I talk to some very interesting people about health. Sometimes physicians, sometimes nurses, sometimes both. And the name of the program is called Doctor Talk. It airs twice a week at ETC TV. the owner of Blackberry Rejeatery. One of my favorite places to eat. Near, near cabins that people can rent for the weekend. And one of the things we've learned is they stop here on their way to their cabin. Mm -hmm. You want to entice them to come back the next day. Mm -hmm. So you offer some pretty neat specials. Mm -hmm. And you've got some prices going on that everybody can afford. Yes, right now, to help with the economy situation. We're doing a four. Does anybody know the economy's in trouble? <gasps> well, a just few a little people bit. that come through here now. Yeah, yeah. Just a little bit. <laughs> but four ninety nine you can We're on bologna sandwiches two days a week. Yeah. So I mean we know the economy yeah. is taking a hit. Well it's not a, a T bone steak for four ninety nine, but it's right. a good lunch where you can be waited on and, and uh, have someone take care of you. Then we do our regular lunch specials too. Mm -hmm. What you drinking there? Well, let me tell you. A uh, little blue frog purely because we, this lemon thousand miles has whipped me I finally got whipped I want to be waited on this weekend I want to be catered to I want to come in here and I want to get great service and great food can you do that for me uh, I think I can oblige good you. good I need that a lot of folks need that when they come to the mountains so you offer something you brought us today a cold soup well I think sometimes am I gonna want a cold soup I think so in the summertime when you it's hot want a cold soup? You know. well in the summertime it's better than a hot and soup, you know summertime rolls <laughs> right through into the first of November now uh -huh. So that yes. hot period is a long time. Uh -huh. But you have late garden stuff coming in, and it's a soup that you can switch and mix and match. Nobody around here does cold soup. That's no. kind of for the city, mm -hmm. you know. But us country folks can do that kind of thing. <coughs> country well, folks, sure. country yeah. folks, yeah. city folks. Okay, anyway, impress me and we'll, well try to talk a, him into okay, it. It's okay, it's a creamy basil soup. And the ingredients are really simple. And all you got to have is a blender or a food processor. Okay. And the easy thing about it is you just go to the grocery store and get you one of these plain yogurts. And you dump this into your, I should have had this already open. That's okay. Anyway, you dump this in there. Now, do you think the average man is going to drink a, eat a cold soup? Well, nah. we're going to try it I out. On, what do you think? I'll on, try it. You'll try it. <laughs> anyway, Listen, you take he's trying my salmon patties. He'll try anything. Right. I don't like salmon patties, <laughs> I don't think. Anyway, you take your basil leaves and you okay. try not to get these woody stems. Just try to get the... And you, did Please. you grow that basil or did you buy it? Sure, right out back here. <laughs> right. <laughs> Next to the cad soup. A little bit of onion. Mm -hmm. That's always common. Okay. A little bit of cracked pepper because I'm a cracked paper kind of gal instead of the green. You know what Hans Rufer says about the shaking the pepper? He says you might as well put dirt on your food. Yeah, it don't taste He good. likes to crack it, yeah. It's full of a bunch of junk. Mm, that's anyway, what he says. and this is your favorite thing. Ooh. Oh my God! That must be garlic. There be no sugar yeah, tonight. You won't be, Ooh, you won't be sugaring up to nobody after you have some of that. Man, so we're that just going to put a dab in. Yeah, right. And you know, most of these little gadgets, this comes mm -hmm. out. Well, that right there is what you want it to do. And guess what? what? I should have done a practice run. I've never used this blender. Uh oh. But anyway. Just for the sake of the noise, you do that, and as you're doing that, you're going to drizzle a little bit of olive oil. Now that was olive oil? That was olive oil. And okay, it doesn't so have yogurt, to be inexpensive. Yogurt? Yogurt. Olive oil. Olive oil, basil and uh, salt and pepper and a little fresh garlic and all those things are pretty common. You know I usually what I put would a squeeze of lemon but I usually wait till and I do that on the top of the bowl. You know what I'd add? What? A tablespoon of blue plate mayonnaise. Well she's oh. the mayonnaise queen. Yeah. I am the mayonnaise queen <laughs> and I there's usually nothing wrong with that. but I would add a tablespoon of blue plate mayonnaise. Now your measurements are going to vary because I did not measure my yogurt. Okay. So you just have to do a taste test. There's no other way. Now that's full of garlic. No, it's not full of garlic. <laughs> okay. <laughs> it needs a little more pepper and it needs a little more salt. Okay. And since I skipped it the first time, I'm going to put my squeeze of lemon in there. And yes, if you put your hand in there, you can catch the seeds, but I'm lazy. And if not, put it in the blender. Exactly. There you go. And then Cherry can eat it. That's right. Anyway. And it makes a real pretty color, as you can see. Uh -huh. You want to taste? No, I, I want him too. I garlic. <laughs> I don't do garlic. 
Okay. Mm, that is now look, is it good? That would be good We've with, uh, not finished it. Where did it Here's really? the finishing okay. touch. Okay. That would be good. Of course, with, I've uh, got a king I size think bowl here. He wants a meatloaf sandwich, Pam. I keep hearing the word meatloaf well, sandwich out of his mouth. We'll get you it looks great. But this is what makes it so oh, it cute for good. summer. You take a little garnish with a little tomatoes coming out of your uh -huh. garden. Take you a little basil leaf. And you look like you're just a little gourmet chef. and you Okay, now we're going to let somebody in the audience no taste time. this. So when we go to a break, we're going to let somebody in the audience taste this. Yeah, we're going to try it out. It's got to be level. somebody who doesn't have a date tonight because I can smell that garlic, but it smells wonderful. You, you Is it good for you? It's good. It's full of fat. Full <laughs> of fat. Great, great. Okay, well, we're going to take a break and we're going to go to something I love. What do we talk about? The little things. This year, the little things in life mean more to me than ever. The little trips we've taken, the places you've taken me that I've never seen. We've been to Hurricane Mills to see Loretta Lynn. Okay, Christy, I remember the first time my mama took me to, to lunch at the Parliament House in Orlando, and they served a cold soup. And I, being the little spoiled 12-year-old brat that I was, said, it's cold, and shoved it away, and Mother <laughs> said, dear, it's supposed to be served cold. Enjoy it. And I said, oh, okay. <laughs> well, so, that, that looks like a delicious <laughs> recipe. It I does. like the yogurt. I like the, I, I could eat a basil salad. I uh -huh, love basil, uh -huh. love onion, love garlic, love everything that went in that. Yeah. And I think I could do that. Yeah, I think that I would think be good to be have. Really cool. And I love being able to share Pam because she went through so much and she is a success story. She was a failure because the economy failed, but health-wise, she needed to take care of herself, and she's doing much better now. So she was diabetic, had a lot of things going on, and she was pushing herself to the max. Women do that. That's right. what we do. That's our specialty. And I remember that restaurant was delicious oh, when it, it was, was there, and it was it unique. Was awesome. and I It was very it. good. Yeah, it was yummy. Now, um, speaking of yummy, we had some beautiful ladies on, and they brought Freddie his favorite forever caramel apple he oh. loved that apple yes he I was watched like, yes he he was so he loved it you had Nikki and Susan mm -hmm. from sweet shop of the south in Blue Ridge and then yeah. they also have their location here in Ella J they are great girls super friends full of energy Energetic. they every single day they get up they bake all day they uh, just want to do the Lord's work. They feel that they, the God has just blessed them with their business with uh -huh. Sweet Shop of the South. They have done so many things and met so many people. And when I was watching, uh, if, please go to their Facebook page and like the Sweet Shop of the South Facebook page and you'll learn about what's happening at the business, what they uh -huh. have on their cupcake bars. But one of the things that they didn't talk about, which they have since uh, gotten together, uh -huh. is Elsa from Frozen is going to be at the Sweet Shop of the South in Blue Ridge and in Ella J the last Saturday of this month. Uh -huh. And so go to their Facebook page and you can see those specific times. But I just noticed that they didn't talk about it that day right. because I don't think all everything was uh, worked out completely. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. But one evening, Miss Elsa just showed up in the shop and yeah. did a Facebook Live with them yes. and said she was going to come uh, <coughs> back to awesome. the Blue Ridge store at the LJ store and children love Frozen. They yeah, love Elsa. Yeah. So what a great opportunity to dress your little girls up and absolutely. make it a girl's day. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah. Mothers, cool daughters, that? grandmothers, yeah, yeah. adults, kids, doesn't matter. Uh, I think what they expect to happen that day is the Frozen movie is going to be playing in those two locations. Mm -hmm. You can have your picture made. You can purchase a cupcake. Uh, it's just going to be a great... I what the cupcake will be like. I'm not, well, I know that they've had an event like that before, and it was sort of um, a make your own. Mm -hmm. You could pick some toppings or pick a certain cupcake. So I think they'll probably be princess themed, perhaps. Uh -huh, I'm not uh -huh, sure uh -huh, uh, uh -huh. because I didn't ask them about that. But, but just you can go in and purchase a cupcake, but have the free visit with Elsa, get your mm -hmm. picture made with her, watch the movie, you and know, enjoy I know and dress Elsa up. Personally, and she is as sweet as she is beautiful. She's she is gorgeous. She's a very sweet young lady. And I watched the Facebook Live, and she has the sweetest voice when she yes, sang a line yes, from the yeah. song, and it was really exciting. Yeah, and yeah. The kids love that, and yeah. Mickey and Susan with Sweet Shop want to do that as much as possible, mm -hmm. get people to come in. And I will say personally, I have been there and I have seen them in action. They bake, as I mentioned, all day long. They work so hard. They work 10, 12 or more hours a day. Uh -huh. They never sit down. Yep. I would encourage you to choose them as your bakery of choice. Yep. 
or try them. Yeah. Things might be a little more expensive than if you buy it somewhere commercially, but they have put time and love, their own money, into the product. Mm -hmm. And you can't say that about products that you might right. just get anywhere. And, and I will say this about products that you get just anywhere. If you walk into the big box store and you purchase cupcakes mm -hmm. and you read the date, it is so full of preservatives because right. it will last four weeks. Well, at Sweet Shop, so, they do not use any preservatives, uh -huh, so your exactly. things are going to be fresh that day or maybe a few days, depending on what it is. And honestly, that apple, if you're going to give your guy a Valentine gift, I would suggest giving him three of the caramel apples. Just choose three. If you buy six, it'll take him a while to eat those because Freddie just gently sliced it off and just enjoyed every single tiny bite of that. Right. Well, I know at the it Blue Ridge so Shop, good. For Valentine's Day, they want to be a one-stop shop. They're working on this special packaging to have flowers, cards, uh, chocolate-covered strawberries, cakes, mm -hmm. cupcakes, whatever. They want people to come in there and be able to get all of that. So that's in the works. But if all of that package doesn't work out, you can still come and get all those wonderful baked mm -hmm. goods. Mm -hmm. Yesterday, I know they were uh, working frantically. They sent a shipment to Dallas, Texas. They sent a hundred of their caramel chocolate apples and also their pretzel rods. Uh -huh. So the sweet shop of the South is not just in Blue Ridge and Ella uh -huh, but it uh -huh. branches out. Do you know what I bet that was? I bet you that was because the Dallas Cowboys lost and that somebody sitting on a couch eating all that at one time. Perhaps they because are. Because they are trying to get through their sadness. <laughs> maybe, maybe. Go Atlanta Falcons on Sunday Rise with Green up. Bay. Yes, exactly, exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I just wanted to mention that about Nikki and Susan with Sweet Shop, and they, they do work so hard. And, and plan an else a day with your children. Absolutely. Now, again, what date is it? It's the last Saturday of this month, which okay. I think is the 28th, but go like their Facebook page, uh -huh. and you can get all the details on there. But just a great outing, whether it's Ella J, Blue Ridge, get some kids together, and they just have great stuff. They have yeah, great stuff yeah, there, so yeah. take advantage of the sweet it, shop. It is a fun destination. Mm -hmm. It is definitely Absolutely. a fun destination. Absolutely. Now, you have something going on because Valentine's Day is approaching us. That's right. And uh, also, we're going to talk a little bit about the inauguration that's coming up. Yes. The inauguration is coming up, and some of the folks that we know and love from our community will be at the inauguration. Yes. Well, we are just going to send our well be wishes there. with them because we would like to say that... Um, it is time for everybody to come together and enjoy. And why not use Valentine's Day as that sweet moment to let's put everybody together and let's just get along and let's just have a good time. The inauguration will be past us. You know, if you don't have a sweetheart and you don't have somebody to go, choose a friend and go somewhere and do something and let's just enjoy and let's let's make 2017 just a a sweet time for everybody to get back into living. Let's get back into living. There's so much negativity, and I don't know how many of you out there are on Facebook and you look at the, the dialogue, the discussion. You know, I look back with um, the last election, election and yeah. I I don't remember no. saying anything, no. commenting. No. I, no. I respect the office we of the president. We sucked it up and we deal with it. I, I respect the office. I respect anyone who puts themselves out there to serve the public. Mm -hmm. It is a difficult job. I know, having worked with Speaker Ralston for nearly 10 years, I know what a difficult job it is. You can wake up and every ounce of your being says, this is what I need to do for my community or my state. And there's always going to be someone who disagrees with you. Mm -hmm. But if you believe it and you're passionate about it, you've got to do what you feel is right. You were elected to do that. So you've got to get behind the leader of your country regardless because uh -huh. there's this is a person whether it had been Hillary Clinton or Donald Trump they're both people who put themselves out there to serve the greater good uh -huh. and you have to get behind them because if not where are we going to be a country divided it's crazy. It's we, crazy. we can't be a country divided no. and so I personally am so excited about the new direction and the reason I am what I what what it gives me is hope that a person can do something because you think about the establishment and think, I was thinking about this last night. It kind of woke me up in the middle of the night. Think about all the people who ran four years ago and who ran in this election. Uh -huh. You throw out some really big names uh -huh. of people who wanted this position. Yep. And it was a person that, who was not, let's just say, part of the establishment. Yeah, that's kind of yeah. the phrase that's thrown who out there. Who literally gave it up to become the president of the United States. Because he had a whole lot more than he's gaining, but he's gaining for right, us. Right, right. 
And it's interesting to me that with the media, there's such a focus on he's got to give up his business, he's got to give up this, he's got to give up that. I don't really know other presidents who've had to or been forced or encouraged to or, you know, stop living there, stop life. doing your normal. Yeah. He's a businessman. That's yeah. what he does. So I don't yeah. know why there's this co conflict of interest all yeah. of a sudden because yeah. that's how he's made his living. That's who he is today. That's why he was elected. But I guess more than that, we just, we've got to get behind him. And I appreciate the fact that someone like me, like you, can have a dream mm -hmm. sure. and make it happen. Sure. Yeah, yeah. He he was a kid in New York who watched his father, and I love I love how he respected his father so right. much. He right. respected his brother so much, and because his brother died an alcoholic, Donald Trump has never taken a drink. Right. Donald Trump has never taken a drink, and I love that about him. Right. My dad had an abuse problem with drugs and alcohol and so I don't drink because if I drank on some of the days I have faced <laughs> I would probably have come in here with Jack Daniels in my hand and and so I chose that path to not drink but when he shared his heart mm -hmm. about his family and why he was becoming the man he became it was because of people around him and he learned all the way up the ladder he learned from from respecting other people who right. had gone before him and i think he would probably tell you what he brings to every every president that we have brings something to the table they bring their expertise he will bring his expertise as a business person mm -hmm. and i think he would be the first to tell you that he has a lack of politics or yeah. how Washington yeah. works. Yeah. That's why I believe he was elected. People wanted someone different. However, there are others who have been elected in the past who have had a life of politics and that is what they understood mm -hmm. and maybe didn't have the business acumen that right. some others have had. So you bring what you bring to the table, but you can't, the American people they've spoken and uh -huh. so he was elected so you can't say it's a negative thing that he doesn't have the political experience but yet also he was when elected because he doesn't have the political experience right period right <laughs> and I know that there are talks of term limits and things like that and, and the way my heart feels about term limits is that I think you could ask Speaker Ralston or anybody who's been in office for a while it takes a long time to understand how things work uh -huh. I or to get in a position to get the behind you scenes right. networking that you need. I was in politics for nearly 10 years at the Capitol, working for Georgia's prosecutors and also Speaker Ralston. It took me 10 years to understand how it works. Mm -hmm. So if you look at term limits, if you limit those in Washington or statewide or whatever, mm -hmm. there's always those discussions. I'm not really in favor of that because you need the experience because just think about if you only have two years or four years mm -hmm. to make everything happen that your heart desires, mm -hmm. it's, it's, it's impossible. No. So I don't know about the whole talk of term limits, whether it's state or national, but I just like what Donald Trump brings to the table. And I also, it's just me personally, our PC world, our politically correct world, has gotten us in a lot of trouble. Yes, it is. There's a time to be politically correct, but I think there's also a time to tell the truth and to be yes. honest. Yep. Yep. And that's kind of what we're lacking. And the I truth sorta will stand when everything else fails. I like I like his honesty. Yep. Okay, now it's could we smooth it over a little bit at yeah, times? That's where somebody like me, your your political strategist, your media strategist or whomever, you know, is working yeah, with him yeah. says Put a little frost in on Okay, let's pull back there. a little bit and <laughs> yeah. maybe not be so honest. But yeah. I get excited when I think about it because yeah. Yeah. The average person can make a difference, and that's how it makes me feel. I'm, I'm excited. I'm, I'm looking forward to 2017 mm -hmm. for everybody. I've seen so many small businesses that are feeling good about themselves again. Right who were open three days a week because they couldn't afford to pay the power bill to be there six days a week because those three days a week they weren't bringing in anybody and now they're feeling like we can open our doors again. Mm -hmm. I'm really feeling good. I'm well, really and I, good. I heard from a lady last night who was talking about she pays $800 a month in her health premium mm -hmm. under the Affordable Care Act. I don't know how you afford that. You don't. It, it takes more than $1,000 just to pay your monthly bills. And mm -hmm. then think about your health care on top of that. Mm -hmm. I, it's just... It's just unfathomable for me to think about how people can pay that much money. Mm -hmm. So what I hope is there are good things about the Affordable Care Act, and there are good things about the way our health care system was before. Mm -hmm. I think that 
President Trump, President-elect Trump today, will be able to pull from that and put together a good package for the American people, uh, that's what he's got to do. And right. Right. I just hope that people aren't going broke yeah. trying yeah. to have health care yeah. because that's not that's what the system was show. for. If I showed it, you my output on insurance and things, you'd flip out. Yeah. You know, you'd wonder, how does she get to work every day? How does she have gas money? Right. All right, we're going to take a commercial break. Please remember our sponsors. These are folks who have been with us since day one. So many of our sponsors are good local businesses in our area, and, and if you haven't gotten to know them, please do that and tell them that we sent you. We'll be back in just a couple of minutes. So, uh, what you doing? I'm, uh, I'm watching TV. TV? Yeah, well, it's really nice outside. With the binoculars. Yeah, yeah, so I watch TV off the mirror that goes through the window into the binoculars so I could be, like, outside while I watch. Watch a lot of TV? ETC's TV Everywhere lets you watch TV on your phone, tablet, or computer. Visit etcnow.com to find out more. Gilmer Parks and Recreation invites everyone out to River Park on Highway 5 and LJ. Join the 50-plusers every Wednesday at 9 a.m. for a Wednesday Walk in the Park at the Tennis Courts. Free bottled water will be available. Visit our website to find out about our recreational sports programs and rec leagues. You'll also find information on mountain biking and hiking trails, as well as tubing and rafting on the Cartake River, all on GilmerRecreation.com. Gilmer County, a great place to play. Proverbs 426 states, ponder the path of your feet, then all your ways will be sure. Too often investors are looking for instant gratification or some secret formula for success. The prudent, however, have pondered the path of their money, invested with a vision, and based upon a plan that drives the selection of their investments. We believe the prudent approach is to have a strategy and patiently work towards your goals. Give us the opportunity to compete for your business, because at Keiko Wealth Management, the wisdom is in the planning. At Blue Ridge Dermatology, we believe your skin is vital to your health. That's why each of our providers gives personalized treatment recommendations. Let Dr. Mills do a thorough exam. He specializes in all skin conditions. Jamie Savageo is our nurse practitioner who specializes in skin disease. And our physician's assistant, Patrick Martin, is a certified injector for facial rejuvenation. Our certified laser technician, Donna Atosco, performs laser procedures with the latest gold standard equipment. Susan Newton is our medical esthetician. She specializes in chemical peels and skin tightening. Let one of the staff at Blue Ridge Dermatology help you look and feel your best. When Mike leaves town, it's a little scary. You never know who might be outside. But we feel safer inside knowing our home is being monitored by a local company. I can check our alarm from just about anywhere. So when we get home, I know it's safe. Get peace of mind for your family with a local company. Switch your current security monitoring to ETC Security and get six months monitoring free. Call ETC Security now or visit etcsecurity.com to learn more. Whether you're swimming in the sea or splashing in the pool, making a masterpiece or just making memories, writing a great American novel or writing your term paper that's due tomorrow. Whatever you do in life, Farmers is here to protect it. For all your insurance needs, call Donald Curtis in Blue Ridge.
Welcome back. I hope you loved the song Little Things as much as I do. Christy, fun. tell folks about the event. All yes, right. we have an event coming up and we spent this entire t show talking about other things. <laughs> but uh, for the last uh, five or six years, I have been involved with the Fannin County Republican Party Valentine's Gala. And it is coming up on Saturday, February 11th at Willow Creek Falls in Blue Ridge. Beautiful facility. It is a gorgeous facility. The doors open at 530. The dinner starts at 6 o'clock. We will have a keynote speaker, which I'm working on. I have invited our, we invite our local, our state, and our uh, Washington delegations to all come and participate, to give remarks, to just join us mm -hmm. uh, in fellowship. It is a great event. We have wonderful food entertainment, dancing, we have a cake auction. It is so much fun. And Johnny Searcy and I are the co-chairs of this year's gala. And so you can get tickets from me, you can get them from Johnny. I'll give you my phone number and you can just call me on my cell phone at 770-846-1735. 770-846-1735. And tickets are $25 per person. And for that $25, mm -hmm. you get this beautiful Valentine's evening. Willow Creek is decorated in silvers and reds and golds, and it is so gorgeous. It is beautiful. The tables are beautiful. The food is amazing. Willow Creek will cater it for us this year. And starting there at 5 o'clock, it's going to be daylight, so you can actually see the atmosphere of the outside. Absolutely. Which is I don't like doing dark events there because you miss the beauty outside. That's right. When yeah. you walk in, all the ladies are presented with a long stem red rose, and then you come in and it's first come, first come, first come, first serve seating. You can uh -huh. sit wherever you like unless you're at a sponsorship table. We have some of those reserved up toward the front. Uh -huh. But you come in, you get a beautiful meal, you can look at the cakes, bring some extra money and uh, bid on one of those cakes later. All the ladies of the party and others bake gorgeous cakes uh -huh. and you can get a cake. Uh, my nieces came last year and helped me and were the cake girls carrying uh -huh. those around. It was so much fun. But uh, again, we'll have a keynote speaker from the Republican Party. Um, I'm working on a, a statewide official, uh -huh. uh, so I'll talk about that a little bit later. Uh -huh. But um, Speaker Ralston will be there unless his schedule uh, gets adjusted, and also Senator Steve Gooch unless something happens with his schedule. Uh -huh. But um, we'll have representation from Isaacson's office, from Collins' office, from Purdue's office. I think those three gentlemen will be in Washington because they have uh -huh. a lot of things going on there right, right. Uh, on February 11th. But uh, Anyway, we'll have representation from their offices, but it is just a great evening. Uh, maybe you just want to know what is the Fannin County Republican Party about? You have a love for politics, or perhaps you just want to have something wonderful to do to celebrate Valentine's. It's not a, an in-your-face Republican Party kind of thing. Uh -huh. It's just a group of wonderful people from the county that get together in a beautiful place to have a great dinner. What's the dress code? How will people be dressing? Well, okay, there will be gentlemen who come in tuxes and women in full gowns, uh -huh. and then there will be people that come in their street clothes. Wherever uh -huh. they've been that day, they just come on. Uh -huh. It's come as you are, okay. come as you want to come. It can be as simple an evening for you or as grand an evening as you want it to be. That's awesome. Yeah. And so yeah. I usually wear a cocktail dress, but last year some women came in in their beautiful sequin gowns and their gorgeous furs and their dates and their tuxes. Mm -hmm. It's whatever kind of evening you want to create for yourself. Right. And it is just so much fun and you will be welcomed. But again, the tickets, I have them, Johnny has them. And we're, we kind of keep a hold of our tickets because we don't want to oversell it. Right. We always sell out. We have 250 seats. Beyond that, you would be standing. Yes. So we're really particular with our tickets to make sure we only allow in what we have sold or tickets that we have accounted for uh -huh. so that Willow Creek has enough food. Right. You certainly don't want to go to an event and not have any food. Yeah. So we, we keep up with our tickets and all of that, but all the funds that we raise through the cakes and through ticket sales and sponsorships go back into the Fannin County Republican Party. And it's a great group of people. Uh -huh. I love helping them. As I mentioned earlier, I love event planning. And that's what I What's do best. What's the meal going to be? Tell me about Well, the I'm actually meeting with Shay at Willow Creek this afternoon. Okay. And she's going to look at our budget and talk to me about what we can do. Uh -huh. But the food, I've never been to Willow Creek and not been so more than satisfied with the food. Uh -huh. um, they work with your budget. Now that they have an in-house caterer, they have some caterers that they work with outside of their facility. Right. But for us, we wanted to choose their in-house caterer because they know their facility best. Right. They know what they can cook best in their location. 
They know how to move the food in and out of their kitchen, which is always mm -hmm. very important when you have 250 people looking sure, at you saying, yeah. I'm ready for my food. Yeah, yeah. Um, we always get some young people, young ladies and boys from the community to help us wait tables. And then we have tip jars on the tables and those tips go to pay those young people and they will make a great uh, amount of money for that evening that they mm -hmm. come in and work. Mm -hmm. And we'll have coat check. Uh, so you can wear your fancy fur if you want mm -hmm. to and it'll be That's taken awesome. care of. Yeah. But it's just such a great evening. And I can come back a little bit later and go over some final details okay. with you if, if you folks want that. When you get the menu, that. because a lot uh -huh. of people want to know what are you going to serve. That's right. Yeah. So but I just right promise, idea. when you walk in, if you've never been to Willow Creek, and it is right there. Are at, you going to get the sample today when you go? I probably I don't not. know. I don't know if they'll do it. Probably not. We'll yeah. just work through the, we're going to go through the, the layout of the room and talk about the menu and the flowers and things like that. But I cannot advocate enough for Willow Creek. It's Angie and Shay Tankersley are the owners and the event planners. Mm -hmm. They know their venue like the back of their hand. Right. They know where the seating needs to be. They know how their kitchen flows. They know how to design that space. They work with their own preferred a floral designer to make uh -huh. gorgeous arrangements. They always decorate their fireplace. It is the most extraordinary place. I, we are grateful for and it you know in what County. I love about it? It's so convenient. Yes. It is so convenient. Right by the Chevrolet dealership. You just everything. That's it right. It is just right there. Parking is easy. Oh yeah. Uh, we have uh, law enforcement that supports the event that makes sure everything goes just as it needs to go. and. I, I promise, whether you're involved in politics or not, if you don't have plans for Valentine's, uh -huh. get a ticket and come to this event. You know, it's interesting you're love that it. it's on the 11th because I don't want to go out to eat on the 14th because everybody in the world is out to eat on the 14th. Mm -hmm. Because your husband feels guilty that he didn't take you out that night, he makes a commitment to take you out. And in reality, I don't want to go out that night. I want to go somewhere either the night before, the night after, the night, you know, right. the day of. I don't want to go out on the 14th because everybody in town is out. That's the right. The 11th would be perfect. You it would just. Be perfect. And for 50 bucks, you're going to eat a great meal and have great everything. And That's right. Plus, she gets a rose. That's right. Yay. And at the end of the night, uh, our talent, our performer, his name is Billy J. And Billy J is part of the group Topper, and Topper always performs every year, and everyone loves Topper. They're great. But Billy J is a part of that, and he's going to perform this year by himself. But we encourage everybody to stay and dance at the end of the night. Uh, not everybody wants to stay and do that, and that's okay. Mm -hmm. There's always about a dozen, two dozen of us who stay. And yeah. last year, my little nieces were there, and they just danced up a storm into the evening, as did our family. And we just have a great time. It's dress up. You can't beat it for 25 bucks a ticket. Mm -hmm. You dress up, like you said, have a great meal, great fellowship, and I think pretty much every year, close to home. Close to home. Love it's, that. I sit at a table, and it's almost my entire family, mm -hmm. and so you can make it that kind of event. You can bring your coworkers. Right. Lynn Doss uh, confirmed with a, with me last night. She's bringing a group of kids from the high school that love yeah. politics yeah. Yeah. and want to uh, know more about their government. Yeah. And so she brings that group, and, and they see, get that's to sit such together. A great idea. Yeah. yeah. They can see the Republican Party at work. They can learn more about their government, they can mm -hmm. hear from these officials that we've elected. Mm -hmm. It's a great night, February you know 11th. About, you know what we're about to hear? What? It's time to get out of here. Bye. We've got to go. <laughs> we're going to leave you now where rivers, mountains, and good friends meet. Don't forget, you can tune in again tonight. You can pick up Christy's phone number again then and watch again, as always, on ETC Television 3.